Hannah Medosin here at the Delaware Art Museum. I'm so delighted to introduce you to Herb and Dorothy Vogel. Herb was a postal worker and Dorothy was a librarian at the Brooklyn Public Library. And they were able to live on just her salary and use his salary to purchase a phenomenal collection of contemporary art. This has to do with minimalism, conceptualism, artists such as Sol Witt, Robert Mangold, Donald Judd, Christo, John Cage, Joel Shapiro, Carl Andre. Over 4,000 works. And they managed somehow to get all 4,000 works in their one bedroom apartment in Manhattan. There were works on the ceiling under the bed. Under the bed. Under the bed. The bed was getting higher and higher and higher as it, they shoved more art underneath it. There were boxes, there were crates, there were piles with cats going in and out of them. Seven net cats. It's a son, They have no children. They do have 17 turtles. They do have fish. This is a story, however, a beautiful love story between two people, their love for art, their fabulous collection worth millions, and giving back. The Vogels are now donating the entire collection to the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. They are here today, and I would ask Mr. and Mrs. Vogel please to stand up. was picked up, it was sort of like a relief. A weight had been lifted off our shoulders of what to do with the collection. And I know they're well taken care of. It's like sending your children off to college and they have to go on. We molded it and we formed it. And later on, a lot of our decisions were made what was best for the collection. 